What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically export a range and save it as an image. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the upper left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a list of stocks in the S&P 500. And this is the top 10 list of um, performing stocks as of March 2023. And then on the bottom left, I've got my test folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this investing folder. And you see as of right now it's empty. And we're going to save this uh, range as an image and uh, save it in this folder here. So let's get into our sub. We'll call this sub save range as image. And we'll declare our variables. We're going to use uh, WS as a worksheet and table as range. We're going to do pick as picture and CHT for chart so CHT as chart object and then we're gonna do let's do my path as string and then my pick as string and then we're gonna use my width for the width of the picture that's going to be long and then we're going to use my height for the height of the picture as long all right so now let's set ws equal to this workbook sheets and then we're going to use this sheet this sheet's called s p 500 stocks so we'll go with that And then, what, okay, I'm missing a quotation there. And then we're going to set table equal to WS, so this sheet. And the range we want to use is from A1 to C11. So do A1, C11. All right, let's keep going. So my path is going to be equal to this file path here. So let's right click, copy address as text, and then I can paste it in here. And let's add a backslash. And then my pick is going to be the actual name of the picture. So let's go with stock performance dot JPEG. Spelled that wrong. All right. And now with our table that we set up here, so this table here, we're going to copy it. So copy picture and then Excel screen, Excel picture. And then we're going to set my width equal to table dot width. So the original width of the image. And then my height will be the original height of the image. So we're going to do table dot height. All right, so let's keep going. Now we want to set CHT equal to WS dot chart objects. And we want to add, and we're going to do left is zero, and then top. Zero, and just to make sure I don't run out of space, I'm going to use an amp underscore. And now we'll say width is going to be equal to my width, and height is going to be equal to my height. All right, so now we're going to activate. And we're going to activate our chart. And with our chart, CHT, we're going to paste it. And then we're going to export it. So we'll need our file name. And our file name is just going to be my path and my pick. 
and then we could do filter filter name let's go with JPEG all right so then now we can end our width and then we're gonna to want to delete the chart after we're done so what this is gonna do is gonna create a copy of this chart as a picture and you'll see it in the Excel file and then it's going to save the image in, on, in this designated file path and then delete the, the picture. So we'll run it, let's, let's run it as is. And you see we've got our picture down here. All right, so what we can do, um, let's say we wanna avoid um, overriding the same picture. We can add like, let's say, let's add the date here. So. We're gonna let's do a space ampersand format date. Let's do month month day day year year. And then let's keep going. So say you want to save more than two different pictures in the same day. Um, we'll do ampersand and then we'll have a space. And then we'll use an ampersand and an underscore to continue on to the next line. And then let's add a random number. So we'll use the worksheet function rand between. And let's pick a random number between 1,000 and 9,999. And then we're going to use an, another ampersand and we're going to do having our, our extension. So let's do. Let's do a PNG this time. And then change this to PNG. And we're gonna let's go ahead and step through. And just so you can see what this left and top do, let's go ahead and change this to 20 and 35. So let's step through, and in order to step through your code, um, you want to hit F8, and you see here it's step into F8. So we're gonna just click F8. So you see the picture gets copied and this actual left, is it's moving over to the left by 20 and it's moving down from the top by 35. So let's continue. And now we see our chart. And then it gets saved. And then what we're gonna do with this chart that's here so we're going to delete it. So that's how the code works. It just happens so fast you really even don't even see anything. So if we were to leave this as zero, 00 and step through. You see the image is going to be right here, a perfect a perfect overlap. And you see we've got our initial picture which was a JPEG file, and then the, the two we just saved are both PNG files. And you see we have the date and the file names, as well as the random number between um, 1,000 and 9,999. All right, so uh, we can also play around with the width. So let's say we want a width of 100, and let's run our code. And you see here, the image is kind of wonky, right? Because we have the original height, but the width's changed. So if we change this back to my width, and then change the height to, let's say, 100. Now we've got a wider image here. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.